Okay, so on the Daniel Fast, you're technically not supposed to have honey because it comes from like an animal or a living creature or something. Oh, uh, over here? Okay. But uh, honey is not like milk. You know, like honey is essentially like bee shit, right? I mean, it's not like they do anything with it. It's like they like take in pollen and shit out honey. I don't really know. What's up, family? It's your boy, Noisy. And today is officially Tasty Tuesday. But I didn't really have anything to show you guys for today. Mostly that's because... Um, as I've explained on my prior videos, I have been on the Danube fast, which is basically um, an, a vegan fast, like an extreme vegan fast um, where, you know, you, you don't have any meat. Um, you only have water to drink. You can't have anything other than water. And um, also you can't have any bread. The big thing is added sugar. Especially, I said it on the jackfruit video that uh, anything that I eat for the next few weeks couldn't have any added sugar. So that's different from like the nutritional sugar that might be like in something that's got like fruit or something. But the added sugar would be uh, meaning you would have to check the ingredients list to make sure there was no corn syrup or um, sugar. Right. So because you can't have any type of sweetener while you're on there. So um, I don't really have anything specifically to show you guys. Um, I just want to update you guys on that. Um, I am officially done with the fast as of today. And uh, only thing that I really thought that I wanted when I came off of this, you know, I, I really didn't have any cravings for anything in particular. You know, anytime that you fast, you're like, oh, man, I can't wait to get off this fast. I'm going to go get some wings and some pizza or something like that. Um, I haven't had any cravings. Um, my wife has been craving eggs, um, which now that we're off the fast, she, she can have that if she wants. But <clears throat> our plan moving forward was to um, basically continue a more vegetarian lifestyle. Uh, which is what I think I'm gonna do. So anyway, um, I digress. The one thing that um, I thought I wanted was coffee. Like y'all don't, y'all don't understand. Coffee was my most consumed beverage. Out of anything, I would just drink coffee throughout the day, all day, every day. Um, I didn't have any cravings for coffee, like at all, for 21 straight days. Didn't have any cravings for coffee. But I will say this, that on the first couple of days, uh, maybe first two or three days, um, I was definitely feeling the coffee withdrawal, but I did not personally crave it. You know, it was like I was cool not having the coffee flavor and, you know, not having wanting it. Um, but I, I was kind of little, you know, kind of out of it for the first few days of the fast. Uh, but I haven't had any coffee. Um, it's Tuesday morning. We actually started the fast on a Tuesday. So, uh, it's Tuesday morning and, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really, I don't really care to have coffee right now. Um, I might get some later on, but it hasn't been something that I was so, I gotta have. Right now, I'm going to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. Um, this is a bowl of homemade vegetable soup that we made last night. This was the last meal that we had on the fast, and we made a lot of it. Like the recipe calls, called for a lot of hearty vegetables. Like there's some zucchini. Um, there's some like diced, I don't know, what is this? This is a red pepper, red bell pepper. Um, there's like diced tomatoes, corn, green beans, um, 
there's a lot of stuff there's like basil there was a uh, couple of ingredients i went to the grocery store to buy and for some reason still managed to walk out the door without it like i was supposed to have basil and thyme but i ended up buying two containers of basil instead um somehow and there was supposed to have been celery in this and i don't know i went to the produce section i had the celery in my hand and somehow or another i still managed to walk out of the uh store without it so we did a nice shopping trip at uh jungle gyms oh there's also excuse me um there's also okra in this okra was not in the recipe but um we uh I, i've been wanting okra like even before uh the fast started so um i put okra in it as well or my wife made the soup so she put okra in it um but yeah so we with a nice shopping trip um at jungle gyms and i'm gonna you know be showing clips of that throughout this video um and you know it's it's done like uh oh so i want to also update you guys like on like the weight loss because i know a lot of people were probably wondering about the weight loss aspect of eating like that no meat no sugar no um the first week i actually put on weight and i think the reason for that was because of the amount of raisins i was eating i've always heard that raisins can be um, detrimental to your weight loss and I was thinking for myself I said yeah I understood that but um, I was thinking that for being on a fast where I'm not eating any other sugars that the raisins may offset it a bit but I certainly didn't think I was gonna gain weight um, I went through maybe like two or three three tubs of those big tubs of raisins um like those canisters i probably went through like three of those in the first week that was like my number one snack i would just go and grab a handful of raisins and just smash them now guys if you think about this most times you ever see a snack pack of raisins there are those little boxes where you only get like a little, you know, a little palm full. I mean, I'm grabbing them by the, the fist full, you know, and downing them. So I went through three boxes in the first week and I was putting on weight. As soon as I stopped eating the raisins, um, I dropped. Um, I'm at a heavy weight for myself. I'm a little bit heavy. I mean, like I'm uh, heavier than I'm usually am, you know. Um, I uh, at this time last year, I had my uh, gynecomastia surgery, and uh, check out the playlist for my gynecomastia surgery um, if you have not yet. Um, I had that on February eighth, and the doctors had weighed me in at two sixty five. And my goal throughout last year was to lose two sixty, uh, lose uh, maybe about twenty to thirty pounds. Um, I didn't. I'm not looking to be skinny. I've lost a lot of weight before, and I was too skinny, and actually did not look good on me. So I actually want to keep a little my chunk. <laughs> but um, I was. Uh, I weighed in at two sixty five um, a year ago. Uh, and I've managed to get myself up to 282, which is like, it breaks my all-time heaviest weight. My all-time heaviest weight was 278 prior to 2019. Um, and I managed to lose 75 pounds then, and this is when I say I think I lost too much weight. Um, well uh that was about 10 years so over a 10 year period i've put the weight back on a lot of it has been muscle um i never had muscle before um when i was losing weight I never had muscle i started gaining it back and a lot of it came back as muscle um so i'm probably more fit now than i've ever been a lot of people would like look at me and say um you used to play football i can tell by how you how you're built you built like a football player so they think i used to play football which is funny um because 
in all honesty, I would probably be more in shape. I'm pro I'm probably the least athletic person you ever want to meet in your life, okay? Um, and uh, it, it's just, it just, no. Um, but um, I've, in my approaching middle age, I have become more football player built than I had been in the past. Since the fast, since I got off the raisins, I have managed to drop um, 10 pounds, all right? So it took me two weeks, I dropped 10 pounds, which is actually not as much as I usually drop when, I fa when I'm fasting. I'm, I usually drop 20 to 30 pounds in those three weeks. Um, but honestly, I've been eating good. This is the reason why I haven't had any cravings. I've been eating really good. Um, you know, I've ne I have not been hungry. I've never, you know what I'm saying, like uh, I didn't feel like I was starving myself. Um, you know, like this soup, if you look and see this soup is very um, hearty and, you know, it's full of vegetables and all types of stuff. And, um, you know, we've been I've been eating grits and oatmeal and um, a lot of pasta. Um, it's been very carb heavy, I would say. A lot of fruit. I don't even eat fruit like that. Like I steer clear of like the sugars and fruit. But while I was on this fast, I've had plenty of sugar or uh, fruit sugar, um, which is one of the things that confused me about the raisins, right? Because once I dropped the raisins, uh, I was still eating you know apples and oranges and all types of fruit and that helped curb my sugar cravings and i didn't have any problem losing weight on fruit it was something about those darn raisins though that was just like it was too much um anyway guys again no tasty tuesday video um it's just basically this um hopefully i haven't rambled on for too too long if you guys were interested in the whole Daniel fast process um now that i'm off the Daniel fast hopefully i can you know open up a little bit more to um, different recipes and try different foods that i couldn't try while on the fast um that's my hope but honestly like i said this is my first day off of the fast and i'm really not wanting anything i don't want any chicken i don't want any um, I'm, I, I don't eat pork. I haven't eat pork in like 16 years, maybe longer. Red meat is a rarity, um, like very, very, very rare. And, uh, I'm just, I don't know, like I'm not looking to try too many things that I couldn't, that I, that I couldn't have. So anyway, y'all, I'm out of here. Love peace hair grease like and subscribe please i'm trying to grow this channel and uh and uh you know it's early y'all and i haven't had any coffee just kidding i don't want any coffee if i do have coffee i think i'm gonna limit myself to just one cup a day that's it all right y'all love peace hair grease place is kind of weird it's like a big flea market but like for food I don't know what you would call a flea market for food but this is what this place is maybe a market maybe